I am now standing just outside my train room, which is an 11 by 15 foot room, 15 feet from here to the window, 11 foot from right to left. The layout itself is 11 foot by 11 foot. As you can see, it is two layers and it has an elevator that uh, runs between the two layers, which I'll show you in just a few minutes. If I step just inside the room a little ways and look to the far right, you will see the elevator that I was talking about. This elevator gets used more, most often as an exchange track between the railroad on the upper level and the railroad on the lower level. I'll next show you what the elevator looks like in the lower position. Okay, that's what the elevator looks like in the lower position. The elevator is nothing more than a drawer standing on end. It has the two drawer glides, one on right and one on left. When it's all the way down, it's like a drawer being closed. And when it's all the way up, I just prop a spacer underneath it to keep it at the correct height for the upper level. I will now give you an overall view of what the uh, layout looks like standing in the center. This is just inside the door. As you can see by the little cards in the little envelopes in front of each industry. When I do do an operating session, I am using the card system with the waybills. And each one of the industries has a small envelope in front of it in which the uh, waybills and cards are placed for each one of the freight cars at each one of the industries. There you can see at the lower right, the elevator now in the lower position. Again you can see that in front of each one of the industries on the layout, there is that small black envelope into which is placed a way bill inside of a car card. Each industry, to begin with, has a freight car parked in front of it. On the upper level, I have 16 industries. On the lower level, I have 16 industries. So obviously, there's 16 cards set out there now showing what car, what freight car is at each industry. You can also see on the front edge of the layout that there's some maps that show the layout of each one of the uh, freight yard industrial areas. On that card there's little red numbers that show the macros that will get you through on either track number one, two, or three on the lower or track one and two on top. It also shows in black numbers the number that you would use to change the turnouts, all of which are controlled from the hand controls, with the exception of the turnouts that are in the yards themselves, those are all ground throws. You will also notice on the lower part of the picture that there's this little uh, shelf-like unit where that lower map is for the lower section. That can also be used to take care of and uh, place a hand control if you're doing something with your hands and want to put it down somewhere, you don't have to look for a place to put it. That's a good position to put it. You can also run trains from that remote control with its setting on that little shelf there. Each industry on the upper level has a corresponding industry on the lower level so that the cars are switched back and forth between these industries. As you can see now, that bulkhead flat car parked over by the steam engine on the right is now empty. It would be loaded here. 
with logs from trees that have been cut down over on the left side. A train then would come and pick up that carload of logs and deliver it to an industry down on the lower level. As you can see, I've got some automation. They're also showing the logs being loaded into a truck. Later, a train would deliver that load of logs to the milling operation here on the lower level. This load of logs then would be milled and turned into lumber to be delivered to Hillside Lumber on another train on another operating session. As you can see here, this load of lumber has now been delivered to Hillside Lumber where it will be sold and distributed to various contractors in the area. After this car has been unloaded, another train at a later operating session will pick that car up. It will be taken over to the elevator up to the upper level and delivered back again to the logging operation on the upper level to start the process all over again. On this area of the layout, which is just inside the door on the lower level, at the present time I have Northern Light and Power with the coal train that you just seen running earlier delivering coal to this facility. Last week this area had a intermobil freight loading and unloading area where they were loading and unloading single and double stacks. Uh, next week I may take the power plant out and put my circus train in with uh, a ferris wheel and a, a merry-go-round and so on to uh, completely change the look of this area. As I had stated earlier, I do use the Waybill card system during my operating sessions. Each industry has that black envelope in front of it with the card in it that now represents the car that is at this time at that facility. When a train comes later and takes that car out, it replaces it with a different freight car and the waybill and car card in the envelope in the front is then changed. The old one is taken out and the new one is put in. On this layout I do have three separate passenger operations. This is an excursion train of a sort that is just pulling in to pick up the passengers here at this station. As you may notice over to the right there there's a rail fan platform where there's photographers taking pictures of the trains that are coming through. After the train is loaded it moves on. The second passenger operation on this layout is Amtrak, which is now being loaded at this station. The locomotive has just been brought in from the refueling area, and it is now ready to leave. The third passenger operation on this layout is up here on the upper level. It's the, uh, the Great Northern Empire Builder, which is just getting ready to uh, leave the station.
Also on this layout I have two classification yards. This one is the one on the lower level which is in the center of the room. As you can see the uh, card system is set up here too for each one of the two trains that are ready to leave. There is a little envelope at the end of the track here with a packet of uh, waybills in it to show the locomotive engineer and conductor uh, just where all the cars on that train are to be distributed. In this case they'll be going to the upper level via the elevator and be exchanged with the Great Northern up on the upper level. This is the classification yard up on the upper level. This train with the F7 Great Northern locomotive is just getting ready to deliver the four cars it has in its consist to the exchange track which is on the elevator. This train has just dropped its caboose on the main line and is now backing up to place the four cars onto the exchange track. The conductor has just released the four cars and the locomotive can now pull ahead off the elevator. Let's try that again. Okay, we'll try that again. <laughs> One more time. There we go, we have finally dropped the four cars on the elevator. The elevator can now be lowered down to the lower section of the layout. Here on the lower level, CSX is prepared to pick up the four cars from the exchange track, which Great Northern had just put on earlier. Okay, this concludes the demonstration of R.R. Uh, Bob's YouTube layout. It's the uh, RG Limited. Thank you for watching.